All right. I'm sorry. I was trying to get some stuff together. Guys day, guys day. Let this play down a little bit lower. But guys day, we got the victory. We got the victory. Guys day, I pray everybody is doing good. I, I pray that everybody is doing well. I pray everything is working out well for everybody. I pray that you have the victory, that we're going to conquer all of this, that all of this will be taken care of. It's pandemic, all this stuff that's going on. It's going to be, we got the victory. We're going to make it out. We're going to do it. For those that's your first time joining on here with guys day, I am your host, Uncle Nick Collins. Um, I do host a um, the platform for God's Day, which is everything that's dealing with like relationships, church, anything. We talk about everything, whether it's hard conversations or not. We talk about it all. It don't matter what it is. We talk about it. Um, most of the times, it's mostly about church, but because that's my background, that's where I come from. But it doesn't mean that we have to keep it that way. Everything doesn't have to always be into something that's. Um, in that demeanor, I hope this ain't too loud. Guys, Day, for just those that are just joining on. But don't forget that we do have a podcast. The podcast is Guys Day, and it is on my Guys Day page. Um, click on that page. It's going to show you the link at the top. At the top of it, it's going to show you all the links that I'm attached to, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all of those good things. Just go there, like, share, and follow. There's plenty of podcast um, episodes that are out there. Please go, like, share, and follow. Hey, niece, how are you? Guys, Day. Um, so if y'all hear me saying God's Day, for those that are on the podcast, you already know that I'm on the God's Day Facebook Live page, and we are um, just having a conversation. Y'all have something y'all want to talk about? We can talk about it and bring it up. You want to talk about this pandemic, which is like, I'm sick of it, but if you want to talk about it, we could talk about it. You got some questions for me that you may have been wanting to ask and didn't have the opportunity to ask and say, next time I see her or talk to her, I'm going to ask her this question. Um, any of those things we are more than welcome to talk about and put it out there. Let the people see, let the world know what's going on. And we're not afraid to talk about it. We're not afraid to discuss anything that are issues that you may be having dealing with. If you don't want to talk about it, you can inbox me real quick. And when it pop up, I, I won't tell nobody who asked the question. I'll just read it off and then we can discuss whatever that topic is. If you want to talk about it now, if you're not afraid, you just still want to tell everybody what it is. Put it up here on the comments. And we can discuss or talk about it. Hey, lady, how are you guys day? Um, and I pray that everybody's doing well, that y'all are staying in as much as possible. Yeah, we do get out every now and again to get some things done. And we come on back, um, which is a part of life. Um, I don't want to go into the whole thing about this essential stuff because I think we did that a couple of weeks ago about this essential. People think that everything else is essential besides church. <laughs> I know folks going to feel a ways about it. I'm not saying the church have to be packed. I'm doing good. I'm doing better. Um, thank you for asking. I'm not saying that you have to, the church have to be packed, but I'm trying to figure out how is that more of a platform to let's not go to church, but let's go to the grocery store. Like those same people that's not going to church, not going to the grocery store. I don't understand. Okay. But whatever. Um, so that's why I said anything that we want to talk about, we want to discuss, we want to put out there, we want to let let the world see and know that we have um, some questions or we have some concerns or we got some stuff going on that people may be afraid to talk about. I'm not. Um, but I do want to, um, and I'm, I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying it, but this is the way I feel today. This is the way I see this today. Um, let me turn this down a little bit more. Cause I feel like I'm talking way louder than what this music is playing. So let's just have it playing a little bit. But um, I do want to put this out there so that for those, and I know, like, again, I may get somebody might say something to me about it later. Um, and those that may watch it later and maybe the people that it affects may see it and feel like, oh, she's talking about me. Don't take it personal. But if it's true, fits, let's wear it. I was horse this week. Hey, uh, Ashley. Hey, Mr. Smith. How y'all doing, guys? Day? I was horse. Um... I guess Sunday it came up and I didn't realize it or maybe Saturday it came up and I didn't realize it. And then Monday when I got up, I was trying to talk to, cause we had some stuff to take care of Monday and the folks came and they was looking, they was looking at me like, could I, you can come in. This has nothing to do with that. Overall, I got horse and you know, thank God it don't came back. So that's one reason why I wasn't on here 
uh, for the past. Because I was like, they ain't going to be able to hear me. I'm not going to be able to respond. But let me just say this. And I, again, some people, hey, how are you guys? Dave? People may feel some type of way, but I want to put this out there. So for those that may want to say something to the people that feel like they've got something to do, hey, by all means, you, again, I'm not afraid to say anything on how I feel. I will say this. Never have, um, I won't say never, but with the passing of my sister, we have not asked anybody for any money to um, bury her. So let's put that out there. So if it came to anybody that we were looking for money to bury my sister, that was never a thing. So I know where it came from. I'm aware, but I just want to make it public just in case y'all get wind of it from somewhere. There was We was raising money for her to bury her. That was not the case. So I just want to make that perfectly clear that it came from her little sister, <laughs> the baby of the five, <laughs> that, that we were not asking anyone under no circumstances for any money. My husband was not asking for any money. No one was asking for any money to put it at to, to bury my sister. There was things that she had taken care of as our parents had taught us years ago to take care of as an adult as adults that's one of the things that you take care of so you won't have to ask anybody for anything to take care of things you should have taken care of when you were um while you were living so i just want to make that perfectly clear and maybe it gets to somebody that makes it seem like i'm not upset or not mad or anything but people do that kind of stuff they just ask them for money you never heard me i didn't send out no text i didn't ask anybody i didn't call anybody i didn't we didn't put it out there trust me i will say this if there was the need for that to be done, it would have got done and y'all probably would have never knew about it. So let's not put that out there for people to think that, oh, they need money. So they're going to ask me. No, we won't. This is not a this is not that type of thing. So please understand for those that have may have heard that may have started it may have been in the middle of it. I already know where it came from. I'm aware of the source. Um, but I just want to make it perfect, perfectly clear um, publicly. I know, um, Bishop Smith, you're going to call my husband and tell him I said it. Yes, I did. <laughs> but I'm all good. So let's move on to something else that's, that means more. I just want them to let people know. And they'll be like, you know, she said that on her. I did. I did. I did say it. And they can replay it back. And it's on the podcast as well. So today's podcast will let you know that I said that and I'm saying it. And I know where it came from. So. Let's not do people like that. Don't think because every time somebody passes away, they're going to be asking for money. There's a GoFundMe page come up. If you if you know adults and you know people like you know you think you know them, oh, they was a nice person. They was so sweet. But then they're going to ask me for, no, no, no. No, if you're going to talk about somebody, know what you're talking about. Because I'm that person that'll just be like, Kimberly, good baby, let me talk to you for a second. Now, not, not ever did in the process of my sister's passing did we ever ask anybody for any money. And I'm saying it like that because that's the way that means I mean it that we never asked anybody from any money for any money and nobody that I know or aware of asked anybody for any money on our behalf we appreciate you though but we're grateful that you thought enough of us to keep that going or to put that out there for people to think that it's the type of folks that we are but we appreciate you thank you so very much moving on to bigger and better things Again, I pray that everyone is doing wonderful. Hey, how are you guys? Day, I just seen you jump on here. I'm sorry, guys. Day, I just want to put that out there and let folks know that that was the end of that's the end of that conversation. So, if it comes up again, I ju just will go directly to them and um, discuss it then because I don't know where. Why would you say something like that? But anyway, with enough of that being said, hey, how are you guys? Day. <laughs> Listen, it would have been handled before it hit social media. Please understand. You, people even really realize who she was and how she, my mama taught us that years ago, um, even with her passing, we didn't do that. We didn't, we didn't do that. So I'm not saying that it's wrong to do it, but I'm just saying if you know people like you say you know people, you will never put that out there about anybody. And I don't want nobody to think that's the type of people that we are or that she was. Okay, because her sister is the one that'll be like, and like my niece was telling me, other, she said, my mama gone so that people can get it now. I said, I know, right? I said, people, and I was holding back. Hey, lady, how are you guys day? A lot of stuff I was holding back because she'll just be like, Nikki, don't say that. Don't be like that. Don't be in the now. She's gone, and she's probably about the other only person besides my husband. He can kind of calm me down a little bit, but he, I'm the one be having to calm him down. But listen, but 
um, to keep us from, you know, saying that kind of stuff. So, uh, again, I just want to make it perfectly clear because you have folks that, that jumps on social media. It kills me. They jump on social media and they see one thing and they take that into something else and they carry it over to some. This is what it is. But you never ask. And this is another thing. And I'm not this is not what I got on here to talk about anyway. But this is another thing. When people ask what happened to her, why not ask the people that are in the family? We ask people that don't have nothing to do with nothing. They don't know. They don't know. Ask the people that if you talk to the person instead of you. uh, Okay, go get you some good, good sugar. Oh, ain't nobody here but me and you. I'm on live. So, <laughs> doing too much. But anyway, um, what was I? What was I telling y'all about? She tried to get me all got doing something for her that I wasn't trying to do. But um, the. The type of person that she was, we already knew that's not what she's, you know, what she was about or anything like that. Did I speak to you, parents? I'm sorry if I didn't, guys, say. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there that this is not something that we would do. But people take one little small incident and they take it to something bigger. And this is what this is about. And this is what people do. And come on now. You know, it takes one person just to spread a, a lie and it blows up and folk, before you know it, folks start believing it or they, they don't even. But ask the people that it involves. Instead of me calling somebody that don't have nothing to do with the situation, I'm going to call somebody that don't have nothing and be like, girl, we're going to put our little two cents in and put stuff together. We got to stop doing that. We, we, we grown it in that. We better in that. The, the, the um, level of that kind of stuff has to stop somewhere. But we're just. Hello. Hello. 